So they are really prepared to match the value of the close, but it's not about triggering the close. It's about matching the value also with kind of different payment terms. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio here to update you on the transfer market. And as always, guys, keep an eye on Chelsea because they are back for Enzo Fernandez. It's a big story of the night, but also Arsenal, Moises Caicedo, what's going on, and Manchester United, the season incoming. So let's jump into it together. And so guys, we start with Chelsea because it's the big story of the night. I can confirm that Chelsea are back in negotiations for Enzo Fernandez. Chelsea are really strong. This time they want to go really big on Enzo after the deal collapsed at the beginning of January. We know how much uh, of tension there was between Chelsea and Benfica. Now Chelsea are coming back on Enzo Fernandez. There are conversations ongoing between Chelsea, Benfica and intermediaries of the deal. So discussions ongoing because Chelsea are prepared to arrive to 120 million euros fee for uh, Enzo Fernandez. So they are really prepared to match the value of the clause, but it's not about triggering the clause. It's about matching the value also with kind of different payment terms. So now it's on the president of Benfica, Manuel Ricosta. In the last hours of the negotiation, Manuel Ricosta is confirming his intention not to allow the player to leave. So Benfica position is clear. They want to keep Enzo and they don't want him to leave. But Chelsea are really strong. Chelsea are trying again. Chelsea are prepared to offer crazy money and the owners of Chelsea, not just the board, but also the owners, Todd Bolli, Bedadek Dali, they are really pushing to have Enzo Fernandez immediately. They want to anticipate other European clubs already keen on signing Enzo for the summer. This is why Chelsea are trying again, and this is why this is a deal we have to keep an eye on until the end. For many of you asking me, what's Enzo's position? Enzo is never going to try any problem in this story, uh, or to create any problem. So if Chelsea would reach an agreement with Benfica, Enzo would be absolutely open. But it only depends on the clubs, depends on on Rui Costa. So let's see what happens between Chelsea and Benfica in the next hours. Let's see what happens also for Moises Caicedo because Roberto De Zerbi, uh, Brighton coach, said that he respects the decision but he hopes the player to stay. Arsenal are thinking of a new proposal after the opening one, 60 million pounds guaranteed fee. Now they are thinking of 70 million pounds add-ons included. It's different. So from 60 guaranteed to 70 add-ons included. Arsenal are thinking about this bid while I'm speaking. Let's see if it will be submitted but it's an important point for this deal. So, Caicedo is still waiting and in the next few days for Enzo Fernandez and Caicedo is going to be crucial for Chelsea and Arsenal to understand what happens. But Brighton on Caicedo are still very clear. They want to keep the player. So, not easy at all to go for Caicedo, not easy also for Enzo, but Arsenal and Chelsea are still there. So, let's follow these two situations. Let's see when the situation will be clear also for Liverpool because Jurgen Klopp said after the game that Liverpool are not going to do anything else on the market. So, he said no more signing and this is an important update of the day for uh, Liverpool. Let's see if they really will proceed like this in the next 48 hours. But at the moment, there are no negotiations ongoing and Liverpool focus is on Jude Bellingham for the summer and then May United. From what I'm told, May United have decided to not allow Victor Lindelof to leave. Atletico Madrid asked for him at the beginning of the market and then Inter in the last few days to replace Milan Skriniar, who is going to join Paris Saint-Germain. But from what I understand, May United and in particular Eric Ten Hag don't want the player to leave now. So this is the position. These are the latest, guys, stay tuned on the channel because many other things are happening. And so guys, remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video, turn on the notification bell, let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, see you soon, here with Fabrizio Romano. Ciao!